Okay, so we're going to do the fourth, and let's play Pokemon Coliseum Mount Battle Climbing Adventure. Last time, we managed to defeat Area 1. And we got Crocodile all the way done. So, I replaced him with Gligar. Gligar is close to being done, too, but I'm going to keep it in order of levels, so that way nobody's overpowered or whatever. Togetic is actually getting pretty matched up here, so I'm hoping it'll get done soon. And so, instead of Crocodile, we got Quilaba that we'll be battling today. Area 2 is a lot like Area 1, it's kind of easy if you have the right level of Pokemon. Well, actually, anything's easy if you have the right level of Pokemon. But anyway, Funneled Lady Galvin would like to battle. And she sends a Why Not. And a Pichu. As for us, we got Togetic. And a Quilaba. Now, I didn't... I forgot to mention, uh, biography for, uh, Krokona, and I'll do that, I'll put that up here as well, but, um, Togetic. Togetic's, um, abilities are, or it's a gentle nature, serene grace, promotes added effects, which means there's double the chance to, for moves that have added effects for them to work. So, take for example, you have Thunder. Thunder also has a chance to paralyze it. If Togetic knew Thunder, it would be double the chance of it being paralyzed after I used Thunder. Quilaba. Quilaba is kind of the same as any starter fire type Pokemon. It has a uh, Blaze, which if it gets below one third health, it'll increase its fire attacks. But as for now, just no Shadow Rush, and it's going to use uh, going Hyper Mode. It's going to use Thunder Shock. Ah, well, thank goodness it's stupid. And we're using Shadow Rush. Kaboom. Barely do any damage, why not? Hit a recoil, it's gonna use Splash. Pointless move in a game. And we're gonna use... Oh, we're in hyper mode. So we're gonna attack Pichu. Then we're gonna call Quilaba out of hyper mode. Wow. Quite a bit. Just kinda like a crocodile. I wonder if Bayleaf was like that too. I'd have to look at it previous episode to find that one out. But anyway, shot a rush. Kaboom. Almost killed Pichu there. Almost. And we hit with recoil. And it uses charm. It actually does something. My attack harshly fell. And so we use shot a rush on Pichu again. And then we're gonna use shot a rush on why not. Why not use shot a rush on why not? And why not's almost dead. And Pichu uses Charm. And Quilava's attack harshly fell. And we're using Shadow Rush again. Which is why I'm speeding these up, because a lot of these are just me using Shadow Rush over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Pichu died. And he uses Charm again. Alright, so we're gonna use Shadow Rush on Why Not. And kill this old lady. Or kill the why not, not the old lady. And why not died. And thus this is it. Da 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 da. Thus is the end of this battle with Galvin. You weren't prepared to lose at all, were you? Well nobody's prepared to lose. I don't think anyway. <laughs> Excuse me. Fa fa fa. Well done, young man. Or well done, young man. You keep that up for the rest of this area. Alright, so, now it's time to let the music play. Hello lovers of bass, we gather here today to share an experience. The experience known as Hard Style, the creation from Harvey Kilroy himself. We give you bass lover.
Alright everybody, and we're at area number 20. Or trainer number 20. Yahooie! I'm Arth, the genius area leader of area 2. That's me, Arth. Okay, let's see if you can go on or not. Battle, battle. Hmm. Well, you seem to be excited. And area leader Arth would like to battle. Kind of name is Arth. It's like Hearth, but without the H. And it sends out a Panko. And a bloody uh, bloody bah. Yeah. And we have Entei. And Suicune. Thank goodness that Tyler or. Togetic and um, Quilava are done. Although Quilava might be useful here. Although if I get just a little bit more down, I can learn Fire Blast. But that's okay. I don't need it. And Pineco died. And so I sent out a Surskit. And Suicune's in Hyper Mode. And he uses Comet Punch. Once. Twice, three times, four, and five. And Suicune's in hyper mode. So, we're gonna use Shadow Rush on the Surskit. We're gonna get Suicune out of hyper mode. I have a feeling Suicune might take a while. But, quick attack from Surskit does a little bit of damage to Suicune. As you can tell, we are like horrendously overleveled. We kill these guys in one shot of rush. It's kind of why I'm fast forwarding these. And Surskit died. Yeah, it sends out Nikata. Uses a comet punch. Twice. Three times. Alright, so, you shot a rush, more shot of rushing. I've been, like, literally hitting the A button over and over and over and over and over again, and hey, we're in hyper mode. Because that's kind of how easy these are, you just push the A button over and over and over and over and over again. And he's a scratch. And did a little bit of damage to Entei. Alright, let's get them both out of hyper mode. I think Entei might know Fire Blast now. And Suicune is called as well. And it uses Comet Punch, but it misses. And Ninkata uses Leech Life. It doesn't miss. And it's not very effective on a Fire-type Pokémon. Speaking of Fire-type, I still can't use Fire Blast. And more Shadow Rushing. Kaboom! Ninkata is dead. Alright. And, sends out an Anorith. How long is this battle? How many Pokemon does this guy have? Shot a rush. And Lediba is dead. And so... Now we're killing the sky. And Anorith is dead as well. Which means we have successfully completed Area 2. And we have defeated the Battle Genius Arth. Gah! I haven't battled this hard for a long time. Oh, it was fun, alright. Go get your Poké Coupon to the break room. Alright. Oh, I forgot to mention that uh, the first time that you beat these, you get um, TMs. But I've already done like a lot of these except for Area 10, so I already have the TM. And we get more Poké Coupons. Yes, I would like to advance. Alright, but I shall advance next time on Pokémon Coliseum. This is someone Dude the Fourth saying, See you later, and God bless.